So, hey, uh, my name is Caleb Sheehan. I'll be talking to you all about makers and maker spaces. Um, so what is a maker? What is a maker space? Uh, this is something that I didn't know a couple of years ago. Um, but fortunately, I was able to get an internship at a maker space here in Louisville called Level One. And so for about three months, I, uh, I, was, I was working there every day. I got to see people come in and work on projects, start organizations. Um, some of them start companies. And, and this was really amazing. I was blown away at how cool these, uh, these projects were and, uh, and what these people were doing. And so I wondered what other maker spaces are like. And so um, I was able to travel uh, with funding from the Brown Foundation, which is also here in Louisville. Um, I was able to, to travel to about 25 different maker spaces across the United States. And, uh, and while I was at these makerspaces, I asked them questions. And, um, and, the, and the general concept that I was trying to get was, uh, I was trying to figure out who goes to makerspaces. Um, what's, uh, how do makerspaces work? Like, how do they run? And then also, what do communities get out of that? So um, after going to all of these makerspaces and after traveling or working at a makerspace for three months, that's a, uh, that's sort of the place I'm coming from with this uh, presentation. So what do, um, what do makerspaces do? Uh, or who are makers? Well, they're people who believe in building things. They think that putting something together with your hands, working with other people to put stuff together, uh, whether that's something physical, something uh, on a computer, or an organization, uh, building things is a good thing to do. It makes people feel good. It makes them better people. Uh, what else do they believe in breaking? Uh, they believe that taking things apart to understand them is a good thing to do. If you don't know how a sewing machine works, you should take it apart and figure it out. Uh, if you don't know how this organization works, you should break it down and figure out what's going on inside of it. Uh, so by breaking things down, you can, it's an educational experience. It's something you can learn from. They also believe in sharing. They think that if you have knowledge, or you have talent, or you have resources, and you can share that with people, you should. That, uh, that people get, if people get things out of you, then you can get things out of people. And, uh, and so by sharing, uh, you make people, you make society better, you make things better. Um, so while I was in Albuquerque this summer, I, uh, I was at a place called Q Lab, and they had this up on the wall. And that's sort of a, a good um, wrap up of what the maker movement is about, what makers are uh, all about. Um, so that's what makers are, but who are makers? There are a lot of different things. There's no one person who is a maker or one group of people who are makers. They're all kind of, they come from different places. Uh, they're not all the same age. They aren't all in the same place in life. They're all coming from different places. And, uh, and, they, um, and so they come together and they work together. Uh, so, it's, so it's all kinds of people. <laughs> Um, so, so that's who makers are, but where do makers come together and work together? Well, that's a maker space. That's what a maker space is. It's a, uh, it's a place where people come together from different places in life with different talents, different interests. They come together and, and work on projects or what, whatever. Um, so what does that look like? It can look like a lot of different things. It can be a, um, it can be like a, a shack where people come in and work, but it can also be a store that sells things and then uses those profits to run a makerspace in the back. Um, it can also come out of a library. Uh, when I was traveling, I saw this a lot, where makerspaces were working with libraries because libraries are places where people come to learn also and, uh, and share knowledge. They can be industrial, they can be small, uh, sometimes, for example, they can be a garage where a guy allows people to come in and use resources that he has and share ideas and work on things together. So there's, there's not really one type of maker and there's also not one type of maker space. But the thing that they all have in common is that people are coming together and working. And, uh, and so sometimes that's, that means having classes where say, an engineer comes in and says, oh, this is how you make a circuit board and teaches an artist or whoever how to do that. And then the next day, uh, someone who is good at working with wood comes in and teaches 
the artist and the engineer how to build a chair or how to work a lathe or whatever. Um, so it's about people coming together and sharing their ideas. They also sometimes work together on projects. Uh, this picture behind me was drawn by a, uh, by a marker, on an, an expo marker, on a whiteboard. These guys got together and with some uh, suction cups and string and motors, uh, figured out a way to put a contraption on a whiteboard and draw all with one line, whatever picture you wanted it to. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it also means not necessarily teaching each other or uh, working together, but just supporting each other in whatever you want to work on. So for example, in uh, a place called Mothership Hacker Moms, was a, uh, it's a makerspace out in Berkeley, California, and they have a failure club where they come together and just talk about their projects. And this is common in a lot of makerspaces where people come together and say, hey, this is what I'm working on. Uh, make sure I stick with it because I want to learn this or I want to get better at this and I need you to help me do that. And, and so people support each other in makerspaces. They also can support each other in a different way, like, um, for example, this uh, machine behind me is a CNC mill, and that's sort of like a Dremel attached to a computer. And, uh, and this guy, using resources from his makerspace, was able to build this giant uh, CNC mill that would normally cost thousands of dollars. So we got the experience of putting it together and, and learning how it worked and all of that, but also artists can now come in and use this uh, giant Dremel tool to like, make works of art that they normally would never have access to. So, uh, so that's, what, um, that's what makerspaces are, that's who makers are, that's, um, that's how they work, I guess. But, uh, but what's the punchline? The punchline is that you all should join a makerspace. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so, like I said, it's people from all walks of life with all sorts of talents, all sorts of interests. Um, they all belong to makerspaces. And so um, you should join a makerspace. You should check it out. Uh, if you get bored during the presentations today, leave and go to a makerspace. Hopefully stick around and go afterwards. Uh, but that's all I have. Uh, thank you.